Complementary angles are any two angles whose degree measures add up to be a total of 90 degrees. The angles do not have to be next to each other. They do not have to be adjacent. Um, they certainly do not have to be congruent or matching. All they need to do is add up to a total of 90 degrees. As you're looking through your example questions in your text, example A tells you that the two angles that you've given are complementary and then asks you to find the degree measure of one of those angles. Since we know that all complementary angles have to total 90 degrees, the question actually becomes pretty simple. All we need to do is take the degree measure of the angle that we know, angle LKJ, which is 34 degrees, and then we add the angle we don't know, marked with X, for angle GHI. If we add 34 degrees to X degrees, we know that the total has to be 90 degrees. So then we can simply subtract 34 from both sides, which will cancel on the left, leaving us with just x degrees. And on the right-hand side, we have 56 degrees. Then we know that angle x must be 56 degrees, because only 56 degrees could be added to 34 degrees and have our 90 degree measure for our two complementary angles. Example B again tells us that the two angles we're given are complementary, but doesn't actually give us any degree measure for either angle. All we have is an expression that tells us that the number of degrees in the first angle is 8r, some unknown variable, plus 9 degrees, and that the second measure is 7r, the same variable, plus 6 degrees. That tells us that whatever r is going to be, it will be the same thing in both measures but we don't know anything about the degree measure of either of these yet. However, we do know that the angles are complementary, so the total of the two angles together must be 90 degrees. So if we add the two angles together, 8r plus 9 added to 7r plus 6, that total has to be 90 degrees. Then we can just combine like terms. I'll do that in a different color so that they show up a little better for you. So we combine like terms, 8r plus 7r gives us 15r, and then 9 plus 6 gives us 15. We know that that equals 90 degrees. Then if we subtract 15 from both sides, we'll have just 15r on the left-hand side, and we'll have 75 on the right-hand side. If 15r equals 75, then we could divide everything by 15 and learn that r must be 5. If r is 5, then since the first degree measure is 8r plus 9, it would be 8 times 5 plus 9, or 40 plus 9, or 49 degrees. The second angle measure then would be 7 times 5 plus 6, or 35 plus 6, or 41 degrees. And since 49 plus 41 equals 90, we know that our two angle measures are correct. So you can see that you don't even have to have any degree measures at all in order to solve for two different angles, as long as you know something about their the coordinated value, in our case, the complementary 90 degree measure. Let's take one look at example C. Example C says that the measure of an angle that is complementary to MRS is the angle we need to find if MRS is 70 degrees. So we know that some angle is 70 degrees, and we want to find what angle we would add to it to get a total of 90 degrees. Well, this is pretty simple now. We can see that all we need to do is subtract 70 from both sides, cancel the 70, and we have x equals 90 degrees minus 70 degrees, which is 20 degrees. So our missing angle is 20 degrees.